Good morning, YouTube. It is 12.15 in the morning. Uh, today's topic is viscous electrons. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosomes bathe the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution. Asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, so electrons, what are those? Uh, you know, in a, you have your atom, your nucleus of an atom, which has protons and neutrons in it, and your electrons are orbiting in various fashions, supposedly, uh, in shells around the nucleus. And actually, um, if you take more advanced physics, you learn that it's not, most of the time you think of marbles going around like an orange or whatever, right? Uh, but later, if you take later physics, you they teach you that electrons are not particles anymore. Well, they're both particles and waves, so they're distributed mass. And so, yeah, anyway, um, for our discussion today, electrons are the prime component of electricity. So if you have a wire, uh, your electrons flow, and that's what gives you power. Um, in a battery, you go from the negative to the positive, and you route it through a wire, and you usually have that going through electronics. That energy flow is what powers all of your electronics. And so in a simple wire, you, you understand that electrons flow from one direction, from one side to the other. There is a direction of flow. And if you were to put a meter, a voltage meter on there, you would, you would calculate the voltage. Uh, 5 volts or 7 volts or whatever the case may be, right? Um, now, so let's say you take graphene. If you remember, graphene is a uh, layer of carbon atoms in a sheet. Um, and this graphene is, uh, does conduct electricity. And so if you attach a wire from one end and attach a wire in the other and you create an electric flow, you will start to see weird things happening. This is where we get into viscous electrons. Um, the electrons don't flow just from one side of the sheet to the other side of the sheet uh, where you have your wires connected. What's going on there? So in the middle of the sheet, you have your electrons flowing this way. Now, if you imagine, what if, what if electrons were behaving like water? Uh, let's say you had your sheet up and down like this, and water flows down because of gravity. Um, if the whole sheet had water in it, and your water is moving down here, what happens to the water on the sides? Well, most people know that you'll start to have eddies because the water down here starts pushing along waters down here, and the water on the edges comes flowing back up. So you have these vortices on either side with a central uh, downward flow. Um, they're discovering that electrons will do the same thing. So if you have a sheet and a primary flow of electrons going through the middle, your flow of electrons out here are actually in vortices. Um, the idea here is that the electrons, just like water, if it were water, uh, down the middle start rubbing and uh, bumping into uh, particles over on the side, and uh, this is where the viscosity comes in. Uh, electrons will start um, behaving like a viscous material, a viscous liquid. Uh, how do they know this? They took the, remember we talked about the voltage probe, they took vo the voltage probe in the middle and showed positive voltage in a certain direction, and then they, they measured the voltage over on the sides and they got negative voltage, and that usually means an opposite flow. Uh, so you had, you know, uh, standard flow in the middle and then opposite flows on the side, and, you know, they're presuming that there's this negative flow of electricity and therefore these vortices, uh, which again is just like what a liquid would do in the same, in the same volume. Interesting. Um, I never would have thought that. I, uh, you know, electricity is not my thing. I'll, I'll tell you that. I've said that in the past before. Um, but in this case, I would have thought that if you even if you had a sheet 
and you had the the electrical leads attached that you know the electrons would flow the same direction throughout the sheet and then it actually doesn't so I learned something new this week um, in graphene electrons behave like liquid <laughs> um, how does that help us I don't know I don't know how you may apply that in any way <laughs> I'm sure there could be something, maybe, um, maybe in some electronic piece if you designed it. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know why you would ever want to have a single piece of graphene and um, take advantage of the different flows of electricity throughout the graphene. Uh, I don't know. It's beyond me. I. I'm sure there's something, and some, some inventor will figure out a usage for it, but that's for them. All right, uh, I'm going to get to bed. you got to go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.